Now, one of my favorites in coaching, Jolette Law. Coach Law has coached for 26 seasons and has been a head coach, an associate head coach, and an assistant for five different programs, including some of the most successful seasons at a pair of longtime basketball powers. The head coach at Illinois from 2007 to 2012. She was a very high profile assistant at Tennessee from 2012 to 17, Rutgers from 1995 to 2007, Ball State 94 through 95, and now in her home state of South Carolina as one of the best coaches for Don Staley and that staff. Renowned as one of the best recruiters in the nation, Gillette is the only women's basketball assistant that can boast landing the number one recruiting class at three different schools, Rutgers, Tennessee, and South Carolina. She helped the University of South Carolina land two number one classes in 2019 and 2021. Law has coached 20 players who were selected in the WNBA draft and coached in 12 NCAA Sweet 16s, eight Elite Eights, three Final Fours, and was the national runner-up once. Between the SEC and Big East conferences, Law has four regular season conference championships, three conference tournament titles, and Law spent five years as the head coach at the University of Illinois in her first season helping her team to the title game of the 2008 Big Ten tournament as Illinois posted its first 20-win season in eight years. The two-time All-Big Ten player launched her coaching career with one season as an assistant coach at Ball State after completing three worldwide tours with the Harlem Globetrotters as the only female member of the team at that time. During her tour with the Globetrotters, Gillette appeared with her teammates on Wheaties cereals boxes and in MC Hammer's video for the song, Too Legit to Quit. Gillette was inducted into the Florence Athletic Hall of Fame class in 2006. And an interesting fact, her beautiful late mother, Lena May Law, and her father, Joseph Law, were all inducted into the Wilson High School Hall of Fame in Florence, South Carolina. In 2008, Gillette was honored by her hometown, again being named the Florence School District One Distinguished Graduate. Gillette Law not only coached at Rutgers with Hall of Fame coach C. Vivian Stringer, but also played basketball for her at the University of Iowa. One of the most precious people I know, Gillette Law. Congratulations to Jolette Law on your A Step Up Hall of Fame, being an assistant coach extraordinaire. Uh, Joe, you have been a tremendous asset to every single program uh, that you are part of. Um, your recruiting, your family atmosphere, your ability to lock in on the floor, during games, um, your incredible wisdom that you part ways to so many young people that you touch daily. I do hear your phone calls from um, your former players from Tennessee to Illinois, um, Rutgers. Um, your, your impact runs wide and deep. We're so very fortunate to have you here at South Carolina where you're making that same type of impact. I can't think of another person that is most deserving of this, a step up assistant coaches hall of fame. Hi, my name's Fred Shamil. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with Joe Letlaw for the last four years. I look forward to many more. Congratulations on making the hall of fame. I'd like to present you the trophy as well. I would first like to thank God, who's the head of my life, for just giving me the gift to be able to teach and mold young people's lives at all levels. I would like to thank my parents, Joseph Law Jr. and Lena Law, and my brothers, Michael and Terry, for being my backbone, for being my support, for always pushing me to be the very best that I can be. I would like to thank my mentors from my elementary, middle school, high school, college, and my professional career for always pouring into me and, and being there for me and pushing me and keeping me, from, keeping me on the right path. I would like to thank every university that gave me an opportunity to pursue my dreams. Ball State University, Rutgers University, University of Illinois, the University of Tennessee, 
and the University of South Carolina. I thank you. I would like to take a step up for creating this prestigious award for recognizing the works of assistant coaches. I am truly honored to be a part of this group. Coaching to me is a privilege. I enjoy being a part of developing young women at a crucial, crucial time in their lives. I love pushing them, helping them to reach their goals, motivating them, giving them every ounce of me. I wasn't seeking acknowledgement, but it's nice to be recognized, you know, nice to be recognized for what I'm passionate about, and that is pushing young people to be the very best they can be. My mother used to always say, may the works that I've done speak for me. Thank you.